Hello everyone. Today we're going to do this uh, beautiful scene down at Gloucester Harbor of a bunch of, uh, of, a bunch of uh, lobster boats and so forth. Okay, so we're going to begin with a nice gray wash. Uh, that's more of a violet, a very light uh, ultramarine blue with a little touch of cad red in it. Uh, just washing everything but the boats, those two big white boats. All right, we're doing the dock here. This is just, I'm starting with a raw sienna, dirty raw sienna. It's got a little blue in it and a little bit of rose. And just washing that whole thing right through with this grayish. I'm adding some cobalt blue to it here and letting this run down. It's gonna give you a look of reflective light on the wood on the dock, so. the background here this is the same gray it's a, a violet gray ultramarine blue a touch of rose and raw sienna mixed more towards the uh, more towards the uh, rose uh, vi it's a violet color you can see that a uh, little rose in there ultramarine painting around a little sailboat in the background I just let that come down. That'll come down nicely. That's just a piece of land in the background. I'm going to drop the same same mix. It looks it looks black, but it's really violet. Uh, same mix there. And now I'm just going to put some. Uh, it's not dry. It's still wet. So I'm just dropping some darker color in there to give it a little variation. You know, little shade, little dark forms on the on that piece of land you won't even see it when it's when it dries but I'm taking a damp brush and doing some horizontal strokes on the dock itself to make it look like planks okay this is just a damp brush just touching my towel lifting off a little bit here a little bit there giving that look of wooden planks okay there you go and I'll just let that dry up all the way down. Okay. We'll let that dry. All right, I'm going to drop the windows in the boats here. It's a flat brush. The back one's got six big, uh, six windows. The front one has these three, three larger ones. And I'm just using a, you know, a, a gray, same color gray that we used in the background, only obviously much stronger. All right, this is the same color, much darker for the reflection of the boat. This is in the water there. So this ultramarine blue, a little bit of rose, a little bit of uh, raw sienna. And that's just the reflection of that boat coming down into the water. It'll make sense in a minute here when we get that. There's some kind of planking in the front. We'll leave that. All right, we'll let that come down a little bit and we'll get back to that. All right, this is schooner in the background. It's the adventure. Uh, it's got a black uh, hull to it, so it goes right across the big long schooner. It goes right across the dock, it's, and obviously it's docked there. So we'll just paint that in around around the dock and around these pilings that are up against the dock. Just painting around. All that stuff in the background, pilings and junk and all right. All right, the uh, the boat's reflecting in the water there, and it's, it's obviously very dark. So I'm just uh, leaving some lights. Uh, added a little rose to that, so it, the water looks a little more violet and. So it's just a reflection of the boat.
And this is the the uh, hull of that front boat. So I'm doing the sides dark, and then I'm going to put a very light wash of uh, violet in the middle there. Funny how it looks so black here, but that's very violet. So the front of that, the point of that boat is uh, much lighter than the sides. I'm just mixing that up. And I'm going to let that come down into the water, and then we'll go back to it. And then there's the back boat. Same thing, it has a nice dark gray, gray hull to it. So I'm painting these both the same, same colors, basically. Keep a nice monotone uh, in the painting. Nice harmony of colors. Okay, that's just the shadow back there. We'll we'll, we'll darken that up so it, 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 it separates from the boat itself. But it's a reflection of that boat in the water. You can't really see it. I'm going to put a few few pieces of uh, reflective action in the water here. Little waves going back and forth. All right, this is a dark. Raw sienna with ultramarine, a little bit of rose mixed in, but I'm pushing it towards the raw sienna. You can see it's a little bit of a yellow mix. These are these pilings in the front. I'll put that, I'm going to make that darker, but I just want to get, get it covered for now. They're very dark. Some more in the back. These are these are also the same color. I pushed it towards the darker, darker black color in the back there. Same here. Okay. All right. Just running a few, few lines across to indicate some planking in the background. They're very, just very light. Nothing. You know, I'm not going to do every plank. You just want to suggest it. Okay. A little darker there where it's reflecting in the water. Okay, that the right side of that boat is is a little darker than the right than the left side. So, but the bottom has got more shadow to it. There's a big black rubber bumper on the top of this, uh, on the top of the hull there. It's going to indicate that. All right, these are the masts for the schooner back there. And it's all uh, part of the rigging. I'm sorry for my... <laughs> I'm sorry for my head in the way there. I apologize. The, the camera's right above my head, and a lot of times I forget about it and get my head in the way, but sorry. All right, this is the uh, rigging on the top of these, on these lobster boats. They have, uh, you know, they have some, these are all iron. You know, they have really strong uh, mass with, uh, the rigging so they can pull some heavy stuff out of the water. It's a little different, has a little different setup. But there's all kinds of junk on these boats and they, it's all useful, you know, they, fishermen really need this stuff. All right, and it's very secure, it's very great. Every, everything that has a brace, double brace, triple brace, you know, it's a, there's, there's so much, you never know what happens out there in the sea, so I'm gonna make sure it stays put. 
There's all kinds of all kinds of junk. I don't know what it is. It's all <clears throat> you know, radar equipment and radio equipment and you know, it's all very necessary, so the very dark shadow under that uh, there's a little uh, visor going across the window, so <clears throat> it shadows those those windows. And there's a mat. There's a, there's a boat. You can't see the boat, but these are the masts for the other boat that's in the back there. And I'm going in and putting a very light violet wash on the water, leaving a couple of pieces of light here and there, you know, just as reflect as a reflection. Just bring that down. That helps make the boats uh, jump out a little more. All right, a lot of rigging. And I apologize here. Uh, when I saw the video, uh, my head was in the way and you couldn't see me, so I, we took that out. But you can see all that rigging I put in there with a fine brush. I just just ran it up and down, you know. It adds so much to your painting, so you really need to have that. So I'm sorry, I couldn't see me do it, but you know how it's done. Just fine tuning those windows, squaring them off. And putting that black border on the hull of that back boat and placing it. Adding some more uh, rigging back here. There's so much of it, so be patient, take your time, because it adds so much to the painting. You know, it's very authentic and uh, it's good for you too. You're just drawing with your brush. I'm gonna add a few boats uh, in the background uh, just to give a little little activity back there. Very busy harbor, you know. That's, that's the sailboat. Put a little shadow reflection on that. And there's some boats back there. They're just lines, you know, just black lines that you can curve them up. You can put some masts on them if you want. And, you know, just little activity going on. Like these, these, uh, wharfs have so much crap on them and they're all you know the the, the uh, fishermen use the for rigging and you know but i'm going to do this um put a few figures in the back there uh they got the rain gear you can see the figures on the boat and i'm going to put some rain gear on this guy and that guy all right put a, Put a white shirt on him so you could see him a little better. A sweatshirt, some gloves. They're working really hard back there, unloading the daily catch. All right, and there's some more junk here. A few caps on the on the pilings. These boats are tied up, really heavy, heavy rope, you know, real, the cables are really strong and, you know, once the wind hits these boats, they can easily break away in, in the weather, so. All right, we'll put another figure. Sorry about that. Put another figure here. That's the body, you know, pop the head on. There you go. <laughs> All right, another, another uh, 
tub of something, you know, with a white canvas on it. A little piece of green back there. You don't have to explain it. All right, we're back. Uh, I'm going to do some more stuff in the background. Just put a sail on one of the boats, some rigging here and there, you know. Get a little bit of action. Some mass on those boats in the background. All right, just warm up the front. All right, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the fun painting to do. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you very soon. Do another painting. Thank you so much for joining me.